Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Qual2828 coming back at you with a uh, bunch of mail from yes, or, uh, last week, the weekend, and today. And uh, had the game on in the background, and the Rams just scored, so hopefully it'll be a decent turnout. Um, my Chiefs suck. Uh, that's no shocker there. Um, there's a reason why this is the backdrop to this video, and you'll see here shortly. But first, some stuff from past week and yesterday at the show. Uh, here's a two-color Stephen McGee from 09 Rookies and Stars, Dress for Success, trying to pick up as many of these as I can. Uh, everything, all the sets and all my PCs and, and everything is um, updating my photo bucket on a daily basis when I get stuff in. So if you want to check out um, uh, some of the sets I'm working on, if you have any that you can help me out with, we can do trades. And, and if or you just want to see all the different PCs, if you just go to my YouTube homepage, it'll be there. Um, and uh, like I said, this one's number to 50. About halfway through with that one. Uh, here's a Willis McGahee. Um, looks like nameplate from this year's Elite. Down in distance. Number to 50. Here's an Eddie Royal. Three color. These two were from Mail Days last week. Just didn't have time to make a video. That's number to 50. This was from today. Uh, Miles Austin, which I got a lot better deal on than I thought I was going to to have to pay for. Uh, number to 50. Once again, it kind of looks like nameplate there. Now, I don't know how I missed out on the multicolor one that the King, K Midas, got. Uh, but here's a franchise fabric for the set. Larry Fitzgerald. I got the one color. I don't remember seeing. I watched his video a couple days ago and I saw his in his mail day, his Larry Fitz, and I was like, where the hell was that at? I don't remember seeing that one. Uh, they're numbered to 20, so they're very short printed. Um, but either way, regardless if it's one color or multi, I needed it for the set. So uh, this card is strange to me, and I'll explain in a second. This is a Blaine Gabbert, barely two color, uh, you know, prime. There's no numbering on the back. The numbering usually goes right here, and I don't know if this one just slipped through or what. Uh, I'm. I know that the autographs that I have have the numberings on the back. They usually go right here. I mean, I'll double check my my other patches for the set, but I'm damn sure they have. I'm 99.99999% positive they have numberings back there too. So this one does not have a number, but it does say prime and it is a two color. So kind of odd. Uh, here's another nameplate, either from the M or the N. Two color Josh Freeman um, for the Star Factor set, number to 80. Uh, what up sevens? Here's a Michael Turner three color. Uh, sorry for the glare. That's from the light right above. See, there's the ceiling fan. Um, three color, number to 99. These are going insane on eBay right now. These Tom Brady patches from Stat Standouts. Uh, I got this at the, at the show, so, but I pretty much still paid the same amount for it. That's number to 50. Uh, what up Everett? Your team's already punching its ticket to the Super Bowl. Uh, here is a Philip Rivers. And I'm going to have to communicate with the King, too. I'm just, I want to make sure we're not running up each other on eBay on some of these, running up the price. Uh, number to 50. Nice three color there. And we will get beat by San Diego next or this week. I guarantee it. Uh, two color Carson Palmer. Stat standout. Number to 50. Here's a Dwayne Bow. Again, stat standout. Two color. Uh, number to 50. Picked up the I for the Shipley nameplate. I have the H and the E. Now I have the I. And this is number to 385. Did a trade for this Brandon Flowers. Uh, inscribed number 24. Not numbered, but it's got some stats on the back. Uh, did a couple trades at the show for these next two. Um, like I said, it's, it's no surprise or shock. If anybody watches my videos, they all know that Rookies and Stars is my favorite, favorite product, and I like collecting rookies, and regardless if they're good or not. So I did a trade for this Delone Carter, or Delone A, or I don't know if the E is silent. I think it is, so it's Delone Carter. Uh, Jersey autograph, number 50. See, here's where the numberings go. So I don't know what's up with that, Gabbard. Uh, 43 out of 50. And then I have the Jordan Todman patch auto exactly like this and so I did a trade for the Vincent Brown four color patch auto this one's number to 25 the Todman I have is number to 10 so 
Uh, the Tobin was pack pulled by me, by myself, me, myself, and I. So that'd be kind of cool to have the other one, which is very similar. So anyway, uh, I will. I forgot almost this one. Uh, picked this up at the show. Paid a hefty price for it, but it is a uh, Kevin Durant stargazing from Absolute Memorabilia, 2000 and. 10, so 2009, 10. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of four color. This is a darker blue than this blue right here. Uh, so I'm gonna call it four color, and it is serial numbered four of ten. So very cool. Really, I've seen this one at the show many a times, but never pulled the trigger as they say. So anyway, uh, that's for mail days, show trades and stuff. Um, now to this. Uh, if you saw the video after Nationals, you'll you know that uh, Sictifer 2024, uh, a good friend of mine, drew this for me and then uh, handed it to me at Nationals. You know, you have the the uh, autograph on the back, five of ten, 2011 Nationals. Something that I will just absolutely tre uh, treasure forever and cherish. Um, and I, a lot of people liked this particular one that I got because of the pose and the. And everything you know, he he always sat on his helmet. Um, so this, I stumbled across this last week, and I, I couldn't pass it up. Um, actually, I got it for, an, in my opinion, an amazing deal. Um, from 1992 Pro Line Profiles, NFL Pro Line. It is authentic. It's got the little stamp, or you know, stamp imprints on the, the bottom corners. And and like I said, just pay attention to this pose. Check it. Beautiful on card autograph from 92 Pro Line Derek Thomas. And I'm going to take this out here and show, you know, down here on the bottom left, there's the authentic autograph. And then over here is the certified authentic. Um, absolutely insane. And I just love it how this card here is him sitting on his helmet in his away uni. And I have this that Chris drew in his home uni sitting on his helmet. That, that is just awesome. So, and they have a picture of Lawrence Taylor on the back. But if you read all this, they say that by 1990 and Thomas with his 20 sacks, it was projected as, he was projected as the next Lawrence Taylor. So that's why they have a picture of Taylor on the back. But look at this down here. Four of nine. So, and like I said, I, th I got this for what I think is an amazing, amazing deal. But I think it's just absolutely awesome that I have this sitting on his helmet in his away, and then I have this of him and his, that Chris drew. I don't know. That's just awesome to me. I'm actually going to put these side by side. I got to get another holder. So, that is it for my mail day this week. Uh, this week it's Monday uh, mail day thus far I'm sure I'm I know I'll have a lot more stuff at the end of the week some trades too so that is it um, absolutely awesome uh, additions to the Derek Thomas PC or addition uh, as it's only my second autograph I do actually have a third autograph but it's probably like a TTM or uh, I put it in here you know it could be a TTM or like something that someone signed you know, at training camp back in the day. If you look at the autograph, it actually looks like his autograph. So it doesn't look like someone, you know, tried to fake it or anything. Um, I have this little thing where I have all my cool Derek Thomas cards that sit right there. And I have the same thing for all my Thunder players. So um, the more I look at that one on that wall, the more I think it is authentic. And that was just a TTM or, you know, hand signed at training camp or something like that. Um, just because I've seen enough of his autographs to know that that looks pretty authentic so um, I'll probably have to put that in a holder as well but anyway that is it for me um, in this mail day so I will catch you all later on this week see ya